Where there are binding constraints, it is important for a business to know how much they'd be prepared to pay for more of a limited resource. The shadow price is the increase in contribution created by the availability of an extra unit of a scarce resource given its original costs. Therefore, a business will be prepared to pay the original cost for one unit plus the shadow price to bring the total cost of one additional resource. You can do this in a step-by-step -step fashion. The calculations are really quite straightforward. You add one unit to the constraint concerned, leaving everything else as it was. You now have two equations, one that's been changed by one unit and the other that's exactly the same as it was for the optimal solution in a linear programming problem. You then solve these new simultaneous equations. Calculate the revised optimal com contribution and then compare that contribution with the old one. The increase is the shadow price for the constraint under consideration. Let's look at an example. Using this data, we're going to calculate the shadow price for machine time. We've got the objective function and given that objective function and the solution to our linear programming problem that has to be given, so we've got 80x plus 75y and we can calculate the optimum contribution 80 times 15 and 75 times 8 and that comes to £1,800 contribution from our, from our optimal solution. The constraints in that optimal solution, machining time and painting time. And what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on machining time and we're going to add one more unit. Instead of being 500, it'll be 501. And we can see below, we've now got a new equation. We can now solve this simultaneous equations by deducting one from the other, as we always have done before, which gives us 20x equals 299. If 20x equals 299, x is going to equal 1495, as we can see there. Once we have x equals 1495, we can then substitute it into one of our equations, it doesn't matter which one, and that will give us y to equal eight pounds, or sorry, eight point zero eight. With this, we solve our um, objective function, ins um, inserting the figures, and with our new objective function, we'll get a revised contribution, one thousand eight hundred and two pounds, which leaves us with a shadow price for machining of. Two pounds. So we could then go on to say if the cost originally of one machine in say hour is Twenty-five pounds. Add on the shadow price. We've 
two pounds and that will give us a new cost of £27 and that will be the maximum the business should pay for one additional hour. The original cost of £25 plus the shadow price. Thank you.